You know how they say your life flashes before your eyes when you're dying? <laughs> that shit's real talk. I saw it all, huh? Yeah. There I am, bleeding out. And suddenly I'm getting the third degree from Matsugane-san. Back when I was still just a rookie. Captain Hamura stares me down like, time to lose that pinky. And then, Igashi starts crying for me. Oh, if I'm gonna go, I ought to get a better final scene than that shit, right? Right? I'm sure it'll be rosier when the time comes for real. Glad you pulled through, man. That bastard Soma, though. Next time, he's fucked. We could have avenged Sawa Sensei if it weren't for that stupid ambush. Well, you didn't tell the cops about him, did you? Had to give the cops a statement, so I did. With a generous side of bullshit. <laughs> That'll get you busted, you know. I'm joking. All I said was the truth. That I got knifed by the same twisted fuck who got Sawa Sensei. In that case, it's only a matter of time until Soma's arrested. So for now, we'll go after Kiwana, the piece that ties it all together. We just have to find him before R.K. does. Kiwana, huh? He's on my shit list too, just so you know. Huh? Kiwana must have had some sort of agenda back when he first met us. In fact, it's probably because you were looking into Mikoshiba. He piled around with me all because of that. I'm just the sucker of the agency, huh? I wouldn't say that. Still... The moment it asks for me to kick turns up, this is the shape I'm in. Just focus on getting better. Tsukuma will stop by later, too. What? Tsukiyura gonna give me the cold shoulder? He and I are off to question Mamiya. He said he'd drive us for Majincho and everything. All right, guys, I'm about to edit this out right about. What's up, suckers? You want some of this action? All right, guys, I'm about to edit this out right about now. All right, guys, we're here. Let's do this. So, we have to see Mamiya? I'm ready whenever you are. No, not yet. Oh, I can't sit down and rest again? Oh, I took some damage because I got in some fight. Whatever, let's go. So, we have to... Yep, let's go. Alright, let's do this. If your theory is accurate, then Mamiya was involved in both Kawai and Mikoshiba's murders. And even if that's off, we can at least learn more about Kawana-san as a teacher. Hi, it's Yagami. I dropped by with Genda Law the other day. Not again. I have just a few more questions I'd like to ask you. You told me the last visit would be your only one. Seriously, why do you keep showing up here uninvited? Please, just leave me alone. I suppose I should mention, I'm here today as a detective, not a lawyer. So what? And my partner here is Sugiura. He's with an agency called Yokohama 99. Never heard of him. He's based in Ijinsho. He's working a case. Maybe you saw it on the news? The murder of Serio High teacher Yokosawa, killed in her own apartment. You and Sawa-san were classmates in high school, is that correct? 
After leaving Kurokawa 13 years ago, Sawasan moved to Ichincho to teach. Uh, are you still there? What is it you want? I haven't seen Yoko-chan since graduation. Now go. You're barking up the wrong tree. Maybe you'll remember Kitakata-sensei then. I ran into him at Sawa-sensei's home right before the murder. He was your homeroom teacher at Kurokawa, but resigned after the Mitsuru Kusamoto incident. Just like you, he appears to be connected to Sawa-san. So why am I being singled out? Can't you just ask someone else? Believe me, it's a long list. But right now, we're here to find out how Sawa-san got mixed up in all this. You two weren't necessarily on bad terms, were you? And if I had to say, we weren't on the best terms either. Oh, how convenient. Because that's a perspective I'd like to hear more about as well. I'm sorry. I was laughing because he said, yeah, I've got a long list and your ass is on it. <laughs> I would have been like that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I mean, let's continue the story. Yeah, yeah, let's continue the story. Yeah. My husband will be home soon. Can you keep it quick? I'll give him my best shot. Exactly. Thanks for hearing us out. Hold on just a moment. Huh. wonder what's going on. You don't think she bolted, do you? Mm, wouldn't count on it. Should we ring again? <laughs> An escape plane? Heck no. Nah. Sorry to keep you waiting. I just wanted to clean up a little. Is your son home today? He's at English school right now. I have to pick him up soon. Doesn't your husband help with any of that? You said he'd be home soon, right? Excuse me, but you are in no place to make those kinds of comments. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to pry. Well, what is it you want to ask? Do you remember Mitsuru Kusumoto? Yes, we were classmates in high school. He jumped off the school's roof after his classmate Shinya Kawai bullied him. I hear he's still in a coma, 13 years later. Weren't you going to ask me about Yoko-chan? I was, but there seemed to be an awful lot of Kurokawa graduates surrounding this case. And strangely enough, they were all in your class. Kitakata-sensei being the prime example, as well as a guy named Akaike-san. Remember him? Well... You're right. We were in the same class. And would you say you're all familiar with Mitsuru Kusumoto's situation? Yes, but... That's not a warm memory for any of us. I understand. I'm sure it's not. Have you been in contact with Kitakata-sensei lately? I haven't. He's... someone I'd rather not have in my life. Are you surprised that he stayed in Ijincho after resigning from the school? No, not really. How about the fact that now he's using an alias? I had no clue. But again, he has nothing to do with me. The groping was orchestrated, right? Excuse you? When Akihiro Ihara grabbed you on the train, you were in on that, weren't you? The whole thing was a conspiracy, staged to play out as it did. You need to leave. Right now. Dude, what gives? No one would even think to consider a predator and his victim could be accomplices. It's unheard of. But if it was to establish a murder alibi, that's another story, considering how much lighter the sentence is. That way, Ihara got away with killing Mikoshiba, paying only a fraction of the price. 
But as luck would have it, proving it is going to require you to cooperate with us now. If you don't get up this second, I am calling the police. I mean it! It took me quite a long time to figure out how you and Ahara were connected. But once I learned Yokosawa attended Kurakawa, it all started falling into place. She was in your homeroom class. She looked after Toshio Ahara. She was the link to everyone. <sighs> but just before I could ask her about any of this, she was murdered by the Kamurocho gang. That same gang has been hunting your old teacher, Kitakata-sensei. What is it you want from me? Lamiya-san, do you have any idea where Kitakata-sensei could be? He may be Kawana the Handyman, but he hasn't answered his work line since Sawasan's murder. I don't know. He was my teacher a decade ago. I barely remember his face. Well, I'm willing to wager Kitakata-sensei still remembers yours. I'll prove it right now. Oh, God. See for yourself. No. This was recorded at Kurokawa Academy 13 years ago. Feeling nostalgic yet? It was well hidden. Your Kitakata sensei had it on a USB drive. He really didn't want this thing being seen. The most interesting part is the date. It's the very same day Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped off the school roof. And hanging out in the back, we see you, laughing and cheering right along with the other bullies. Guess it's safe to say it's a good thing your family wasn't home. Wouldn't exactly want them seeing this, would we? Has this video come up? Has Kitakata-sensei ever mentioned to you that he had it? Please. Please delete it. Considering the angle, I get the feeling that this was recorded in secret. And based on your reaction, did you even know it existed? You know what happened to Mitsuru-kun. He's been in a coma ever since what you did to him that day. But still, only one of you took the fall. Shinya Kawai took all the blame. Well, sort of, being that he got fired, Kitakata-sensei took heat too. Still, you all just moved right along with your lives. You've even got happy little families. What? Are you expecting someone? Amiya-san? Well... I knew what happened someday. What do you mean? Looks like she wanted some company. How are you gonna explain this to your kid that your house got jacked up to your fake ass husband? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Lightweight. Oh, man, get up, dog. Yo, my character is so OP. I've been, <laughs> I've been grinding hard with this character. With talk, he's so OP right now. It's not even funny. <laughs> well, this turned into a shit show. And would you look at that? Our old friend Akaike-san showed up to play a part. So you are all working together. What should we do with them? They're the jerks who hurt Tsukumo-kun, right? Break every finger on their hand, it still won't make you even. Come on, 
They may have more on the way. I have an old haunt in mind we moved this to. And Mamiya-san's coming with. Huh? Let's not cause a scene, okay? I'd hate for a finger to slip and post this video. <laughs> hey, you think this is your personal jail, Yagami? What makes you think you can keep bringing captives here? Well, it's the safest spot we know. Doesn't it feel good to be such a reliable friend? Yeah, Higashi, be cool. We won't be around long. Be cool? You think time's the issue? This is about respect, man. What's your call? We kicking him out? Oh, quick bit of news, Higashi-san. Kaito-san got shanked in Yokohama. What? What the fuck? Kaito Aniki? By who? You'll know once we're done explaining. Let me introduce you to Mamiya-san first. She called up her friends to come after us just a little bit ago. Yeah, and I'd do it again. <laughs> and we'll whoop I don't they. give a shit about that! <laughs> what happened to Aniki? You better have paid him back already, Yagami. <sighs> Fuck those RK assholes! <laughs> and how could Aniki have let him get to him like that? Now that higashi sounds up to speed, should we get to it? I imagine Mamiya-san doesn't want to drag this out. What do you intend to do with me? First, you'll tell us everything you know. We'll decide how to deal with you afterward. <sighs> so, uh, you got a choice. You could, um... If you let... I'll let you go. Hold on. They got Sonic Fighters here? Let me see. They got Sonic Fighters. Um, they got Sonic Fighters. Hold on. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Excuse me. You got Sonic Fighters here? You don't? Alright, they ain't got Sonic Fighters. Um. They ain't got Sonic Fighters. You're gonna have to talk. <laughs> Let's start with the video. Any thoughts you'd care to share? I found it on a flash drive in Kitakata Sensei's room. Or should I say, Kawana's. I take it that means he's the one who recorded it. Yes. That means Kawana already knew back then the rest of you were bullies too? Yes. If that's the case, then why was Shinya Kawai the only student thrown under the bus for it? Kawana-san didn't show that tape to anyone else? We had no idea we were even being taped. We didn't find out about the video, or the reason he sat on it so long until way after graduating. Why exactly did he sit on it for so long? Kitakata-sensei said he kept it so... so he could teach us for the rest of our lives. What? If that video came out, I thought you, say, I thought you just said you didn't know he was being recorded. Yep, anyway, <clears throat> back to the story. At the time of the incident, I'm sure life would have been hard for us then. After all, Kawhi was exposed online, Cap. and that would mean millions of yen in compensation for damages. Yeah, but you guys could have wound up in the same boat. No. And most we would have come across as dumb kids he roped into helping him. We might have caught some flack. But people would chalk it up to kids and their cliques and move on. But that's only how I would have gone if it had come out while we were still teenagers. You're saying circumstances are different now? I have a child now. A husband. An upscale apartment. If the world sees that tape now, I'll lose it all. And what do you think would happen to my son? You just stay with your husband. The son of a woman who drove a kid to attempt suicide. His life would be ruined. You should have thought about that earlier. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. That recording is more than kids being cruel. Mitsuru jumped from the school roof that very night and is still in a coma today. I get it. You have that much more to lose now than when you were a kid. 
Well, let them get jumped in prison. They're trying to get bullied in. They just get jumped in prison. Well, who cares? That's their problem. Same for all my classmates. Kurokawa Academy is a prestigious school, after all. Most graduates go off to great universities and land high-paying jobs. One started his own company. Others have families. And they're all in your position too, huh? If that video gets out, they lose everything. Exactly. Do you get it now? He waited for all of us to get what we wanted in life. Just so he could threaten to take it all away. And when that time came, he started contacting us. Every student you see in that video. When was the first time Kawana approached you? Five years ago. I was out on the walk with my son. Damn, this lady stay lying. Ah, you lying in the apartment. Go ahead, go ahead. When he came strolling up out of the blue. At first, I barely recognized him. His eyes were so hollow. Then without so much as a word, he took out his phone and played that video. He's a psychopath. Well, all you kids tormenting Mitsuru looked pretty psychopathic to me. Oh, and you're so perfect. An angel who never once acted out of line. Never lashed out at someone weaker than you or sided with the group to shut someone out. Everyone does it. We were just lucky enough to have some creep take us, picking on some kid who couldn't take it. Why does this have to happen to me? I'd say it's because bad things happen to bad people. You'll sling your barbs from a safe distance, but once you're on the other side of it, you curl up and play victim. <sighs> you said it was five years ago that Kuana showed you the video? Reminds me of something Shirosaki sensei was looking into. What? There was this guy. I think his name was Shinya Kawai. Something about him getting snatched off the streets about five years back. you guys. You're the ones who abducted him in Kamrocho and murdered him. No, it wasn't us. We could never do something like that. Wasn't us, huh? So you're not denying he was murdered after all? Who was it then? All Sensei told us was to find Kawai somewhere in Kamurocho and bring him back with us no matter what it took. Did Kawana tell you what he wanted with him? He needs to be there when you all beg for forgiveness. Is all he said. And if we refused, he'd leak the video. So we all went to see Kawhi, but he wanted nothing to do with Sensei. Considering he'd cost him everything, that came as no surprise. But doing nothing would cost the rest of you everything, too. Yes. So we had to force him into our van. After he put up a Yeah, that lines up with what the local eyewitnesses said. So then what happened? Nobody's heard from the guy since. We were directed to bring him to a wharf in Yokohama. And that's where we begged for forgiveness. After that, he said we were free to go. All except Kawai. So you left him there alone with Kawana? We had to. The day after, I got a message on my phone from Sensei. What did it say? Nothing. There was only a video. It was of all of us. Pushing Kawhi into the van. Turns out he recorded what we did in the city. You can see all our faces so clearly. How we covered Kawhi's mouth as he screamed for help. I... Even if you know all the backstory, the video is a clear-cut abduction. As I was watching it the first time, another message came in. This time, a picture. When I saw it, I just went cold. That's when I knew I would never be able to escape him. It was a picture of Kawhi. Dead. Anyone who saw those messages would think we killed him after shoving him into the van. And that's how he got his real leverage on his former students. 
Since then, we've been at his beck and call. No matter what he tells us to do, we wouldn't dare refuse him. He's giving you orders? That man! He forces us to help him with... He makes us accomplices to murder! Murder? What the hell? Murder who, exactly? Any bullies involved in suicides. That's who Sensei's got it in for. Anyone he could find across the country. He doesn't even care how old the case is. If a student commits suicide, and bullying is suspected as the cause, he'll turn up. As far as I know, counting Kawhi, I think... I think he's killed at least seven people. Seven? How's he doing this? So his idea of justice is killing bullies? Across the entire country? He said that's the only way we can atone. Anyone who drives someone to suicide must always face justice. Until society comes to terms with this, he says we'll keep getting our hands dirty. That way, we might be able to save the next few Mitsurus before it's too late for them. I'm not sure I should say this out loud, but I'm kind of rooting for this guy now. <laughs> um, yeah, let's not. No, I'm not going to lie. I am kind of rooting for the guy too, man. So I'm about to say, case closed, game over. Hey, it's the end of the game. Roll the credits. I don't care. Right. <laughs> okay, I'll stop interrupting the game. So was the murder of Hiro Mikashiba part of that agenda? We know Mikashiba drove ahara son to suicide four years prior. That has to be why Kawana let Ahara murder him and how you found your role in establishing his alibi. Not just me. Grabbing Mikoshiba required a good number of people. All the people who pinned Ehara down. And even the ones who filmed it, they were working for Sensei. So that's how it went down. We had an unspoken agreement that we wouldn't directly take part in any killing. He just makes us his accomplices somehow. Like luring a target or digging a hole for a body. But the one thing we can't ever do is turn him down. If we do, he'll send his video of us abducting Kawhi to the police. And then Kawhi's body will turn up with our fingerprints all over his corpse. And we know that because... He's hidden Kawhi's corpse in a freezer somewhere. He's preserving one of his murder victims? So as long as he has that, you're wrapped around his finger. Sounds to me like Kiwanis had one thing on his mind for 13 years. Sitting on that video and becoming an Eugene Cho handyman was all in service of his real motive, killing off bullies. He's dragged all his former students into this hell until the day it destroys every single one of you. Is today that day? We'll see. I'm still curious about a few things though, if you don't mind. What? There were these scumbags chasing down Kiwana called R.K. What part did they play? Strangely enough, they never came up once during your confession. So tell me, why'd they come for Yokosawa? That I don't know for certain. But Sensei did reach out to Yokochan about six months ago over the phone. He was asking her about the suicide at Serio High. The suicide at Serio High? You must be talking about Toshiro Ehara. The lawsuit played out like no bullying took place, right? That the school wasn't responsible. But Yoko-chan was a teacher there, and Sensei was able to get the truth out of her. How'd he do that? What did he say? From Yoko-chan's perspective, she and Sensei were both just teachers dealing with students attempting suicide. I think that's why she let a guard down and told them everything. After learning the truth, Sensei believed Mikoshiba needed to be held accountable. So if Sawa-sensei hadn't talked to him, Ahara wouldn't have gotten involved? And none of this would be happening in Ijincho? Possibly. No, this isn't right. Sawa-sensei didn't know Kawana's identity or his objectives. She thought she was just talking through her problems with a sympathetic ex-teacher. At the very least, she sure as hell didn't deserve to die for that! It's not like we're the ones who did it.
Who is it? Block number. Hello? Yo, know who this is, Yagami? Kuwana? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you're looking for me. Where are you? I'm willing to meet you now, if you come alone. But you have to let Mamiya go in exchange. What? Alright. She's free as soon as I see you. Works for me. Then come on down to your office. I thought I'd let myself in. What? <laughs> Gotta say, this chair's pretty comfy. Pretty sure I locked up behind me when I left. Listen, I'll only meet you alone. No one else. And don't make me wait long, or I could change my mind. He told me to meet him alone. You can let mommy son go once I confirm he's there. You gonna be alright by yourself? Well, he already knows mommy son's with us. I'm guessing he was watching us from somewhere. And I can't afford to do anything that would piss him off enough to make him disappear. Uh, got it. Well, we'll take care of this end of it. Shouldn't you move your ass? Man, he can wait. I forgot to play some games. I was just playing. All right, guys. I'm out this video. So y'all holler at me, man. We're going to get through this. Y'all holler at me. Forget this. I'm about to play this game, man. Come on, what is this, bro? Oh, they really won't let me play the game. They said I'm playing around too much. All right, guys, I'm out of this video. So yeah, look at this. They won't let me. I can't get out. Is this a glitch? Oh, I'm about to say. All right, guys, I'm out of this video for real. So peace. Oh man, hold on. This is this fake ass Indiana Jones? All right, I'm sorry, y'all. All right, guys, I'm out of this video for real. So y'all holler me, man. We're gonna get through this. Y'all holler. Excuse me, man. Are you waiting for the bus? Are you waiting for the bus? <laughs> Let me go.